Hi guys, today is another day for me to share with you my little knowledge about this sunfall. Everywhere you can see beautiful aquariums with sunfall. It looks like really a waterfalls. But in reality, that's not waterfalls, that's sunfalls. And many have asked me, do you know how to make a sunfall aquarium? My answer is yes, I've been doing this for a couple of years ago and this day is a great opportunity for me to share with you my little knowledge about how to make a sunfall. And as you can see here, I have PVC pipe here and then I have two elbows, actually three elbows but I'm gonna use and then I have a funnel, this one, and the tea pipe. Okay? So, what I'm going to do is I will make a sunfall out of these materials by using a submersible pump and, of course, a sun to make it appear that there is a waterfall inside your aquarium. So this is how we're going to do it. First thing is we have to measure inside the aquarium where you're going to place your sunfall. And maybe we have to measure this. This is 24 inches. And I'd like to just make it at 18 inches, I think. So, the theory is this. We will cut this one. Okay. And we will measure how tall is your sunfall. Maybe, sunfall. Maybe we'll take the, this is 18 inches. So we will estimate it at uh, maybe here, okay, so this is how we do it, this is the height of your sunfall, this is it, okay, and we will put this elbow like that and we will join this one like that this will be the flow of our sunfall so the purpose of this is to receive the sun so that we will have an enough supply of the sun so we can estimate this so most probably depending upon the power of your submersible pump so this is the receiving funnel we will cut this one simple as that we will connect this one here like that We'll connect that one and we will connect this one. So your funnel will be placed on here. Okay, so later we're gonna fix this one. So we will place the sand here and then we will put the hose of the submersible pump here and the water will flow in and this will be filled with sand actually and then the sand will come up and go down back here and revolve like that so this is the cycle okay and this is the technique we have to disassemble this first and the technique is we will have 
we will put cover in here so this T joint is the twist of this sunfall because if you will not put a cover like this the tendency if the submersible pump the water will just come out over here the sun cannot just go in because it will be pushed away pushed upward by the pressure of the water it is important to have this kind of mechanism you put this one slant the sun will just flow in and then will be pushed and then out up so this is exactly how it is done but we will cover the hole like this we will cover this with this book seal so that we can have a good pressure okay so this is it Three hours already and I think it's already dried up that's why we are now connecting this one to the submersible pump here I guess uh, we need some that's it we'll put it like this one Okay, I don't know if the distance is already good, but yes. Okay, I think okay. temporarily this stone here. Okay, so I think it's working now. The water is dripped. Yes, the next thing is we will put this sack. Okay. So that's it we have to make a little adjustment because the sun will just fall out here so maybe we can put extension so that the sun will really fall in here okay okay so we will fix this one here I'm just telling you the principle of the sun fall well it is done fixing this one position with it like this maybe like that the sun will just fall down there and then it will not run short of supply more so that's the whole thing that's the idea you see
see that you can have your own design you have to cover that so this is practically the the sun fall that i'm talking about but this is not yet the the desire design of the sun fall i'm just putting some plants like plants for us to more or less appreciate the beauty of the sunfall in an aquarium. So this is not yet final, but you can look at this, it's already working. The sunfall seems so natural and it looks like pretty good. And once you put the fishes, I believe that the fish really would love to swim with this artificial waterfall. So please stay tuned to our channel next video we're going to update you about the good design of our sunfall aquarium and if you are new to our channel please don't hesitate to subscribe and those who have subscribed thanks a lot please follow us follow the update of our sunfall aquarium and next week we're gonna put some guppies tetras and other small fishes only here up next to swerve